Hey guys, it's Jen from Catascrap Designs. I hope everyone is doing well today. Um, I just wanted to come on and show you what I had made with a uh, junk mail envelope. It's, um, I didn't do anything to the back cause it, I don't know if it's gonna go in a journal or not. Um, but it's just um, a tag with a tag holder. And I thought I'd come along and make one with you guys today. Um, it's pretty plain. It's not too embellished. It's just got some rhinestones and sentiments and die cuts. It is sewn around um, and has some fabric on it. So I thought I would, like I said, I thought I'd come along and do that with you guys today. Um, I already cut up some stuff. And what I didn't do, I don't know why these envelopes, I think they already came um, closed or they closed in the heat. But I am going to open it. Um, I wish they weren't closed because it would have been so much easier. And I don't have an envelope opener. But um, we're going to collage over it. So I guess it doesn't matter if I tear it. Don't want to tear it too bad. And it's only to put paper on the back of that inside. and I did that so that could be fixed so <clears throat> just because when I was putting the tag in and out I was seeing this and I really didn't want to see that um, so I am just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just glue some um, book page down before I put in some paper. I'm not doing a whole lot. It's just a cover up. Oops, didn't get it in the middle. I know I'm gonna have to cut some of that off, but I just wanted to put this um, here so when you pull it out you just you see pink as long as it's covered we're good then we're going to have to glue this back up again. So, and I'm not going to worry about that because, oh, you know what? I didn't bring this down further enough, uh, far enough. There we go. So I am going to have to use, I'm going to have to cover this up, glue this back together. I 
And then we're going to glue this back together. And when we collage, we can just wrap around there. So that won't be a big deal. So we have our base. And what I'm going to do, um, before I lose that, I'm just gonna cover the tag so I know what paper, what leftover paper I have to work with. Could never get this pin in. And I kind of wanted to get that that all in. So I'm going to glue this down and I am going to sew my tag. And then we'll have the rest of the paper to collage that with. And then we can embellish it. Still have glue on it. Just gonna leave this to the side for now. This is what the front will look like. I'll cut the corners off once that dries. And then we can, we can collage with the paper we have left. I'm just going to tear the bottom off so we get that teared look. It's a pretty big window so we could cover up if we have to just a little bit of the window to get all the corners. Hope that still covers and it does. Gonna ink up the edges a little bit. This way we'll get some of the flower at the top. And I'm actually gonna 
glue this instead of the paper because we're going to have to cut off some of that paper. We have part of that. I'd like to get the the B and the numbers. So I'm just gonna tear a little bit of that off. And again, I'm just going to ink the edges on here. Put this back. Is it sticky? Okay. Going to glue the sides. And I want to use that for the other side. So I am going to cut that off now. Try to rip it really close and hope I have enough room. just to give that torn effect. Let's see. Oh, I cut some, I cut too much off. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to go with this. like to get the flower at the bottom so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off there ink the edges
glue this up. And then we have one more spot to get, actually that. That might fit. Doesn't have to be straight, it's collaged, it can be all different. All different sizes. So we have this, the front done. Just gonna cut off the scraps. So we have the, the base of the tag holder. Just gonna ink that up. We could have sewn that down too, but I'm not gonna do that. I'll just leave it as is, I think. I don't know, I like sewing. <laughs> so I tend to sew everything. Gonna cut off, make the the tag shape. And I'm just gonna ink this up. Because this, this I am going to sew. And it's pretty large tag, so you get pretty big writing space in the back. And I'm going to go ahead and sew this now. Um, actually, I'm just going to put a, uh, 
ribbon slot through here because I am going to use fabric. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in now so when I sew it, um, I catch it. Cut a couple of snips of that, make it a little shorter. And then I am going to go ahead and let's see how it fits first. That fits great. So we have that in there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sew this and I will be right back. All right, I'm back. I sewed it. So we have a sewn tag right now. Um, and now we are going to, we're not gonna to embellish too much. Obviously, um, the paper is decorated a lot, so we're not gonna really see a lot of um, decorating but I do want to put down um, a sentiment. Um, on both the tag and the could even put a number down there. Hmm. We have some blue numbers. And I think that would look pretty cool. I'm just going to cut one of those out for now. I've got glue on my scissors. Um, and I think I'm going to do a remember. I'm going to ink these up. Put that there. This one's already got brown around it, so we're pretty good there.
that there. I don't have clear rhinestones to put down anywhere. I can never see this pinhole. Uh, I should have my glasses on. Yeah, I don't have clear. I mean, regular rhinestones like I did for the pink, but I'd like to see about putting some flowers down. could put the number eight down here. I'm just thinking out loud. Now I'm trying to think, I just uh, did my thrift haul video. Um, Thrifty Thursdays or I don't know what I have it under. And I got a bunch of um, I almost forgot what they were, but I found them. If I could open them. We'll do it so where we could see both colors, the dark and the light. I'm thinking. We could even do, we could probably put some, some cheesecloth. Underneath that, just to, I don't know. Let's see what, let's see what it looks like. What do you think? Yeah. I don't think this is gonna hold my flower. So, I 
think this will though, because this holds fabric and metal and wood. I don't have a lot in that, so I have it um, upside down. And we still have this. And then we have it. We have our junk mail envelope pocket, the see-through tag. I mean, with see-through pocket, so you could see the tag. And this is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, and I hope it inspired you to go grab a junk mail envelope and create. Um, something with it and this is what I did today and like always until my next video guys I hope you have an awesome day talk to you soon bye